Hello, welcome to our virtual back to school night. My name is Danielle Heath. I'm part of the 21st Century Skills Department, specifically in Family and Consumer Sciences, and I teach culinary arts. This year I have two classes, the Foundations of Food and Nutrition and the Art of Science and Food. My personal teaching philosophy is that I would like to create a safe environment for students to learn both individually and collectively and hope by the end of the year, if not sooner, that they see and understand that they all provide value to the classroom. This is a quick description of the Foundations of Food and Nutrition course. Uh, it's an introduction into culinary arts and the skills necessary to be successful in the kitchen, but it also offers a real life application to learning through those culinary labs. It's a heavy emphasis on safety, but we also talk about other practical life skills like reading, comprehension, math, science, uh, time management, communicating, critical thinking. Um, so they go through a lot, it's not just cooking and eating. In art and science of food, it's a strong emphasis still on that safety and practical skills, but we also talk about food science as it relates to a variety of food preservation techniques, leavening of baked products, cheeses, emulsions. Uh, we also have food experiences that take a more creative direction as they discover the visual influence of food with garnishing and plate presentation. So specifically, these are some of the proficiencies that we would go over in our foundations on food of Foundation of Food and Nutrition course, talking about proteins, uh, dairy, grains, produce like fruits and vegetables, other baked goods, the six nutrients that we need, um, and then other safety, sanitation, and hygiene techniques in the kitchen. And the art and science of food, again, just some of the proficiencies, we'll talk about food preservation, cooking methods, science of baking, uh, art and science of cheese, special diets, and meal planning. The grading policy for both classes is the same. 45% uh, of students grade are major assessments, including but not limited to their labs and tests. 35% is minor assessments, including but not limited to quizzes and projects. 15% is classwork, which are things like do nows, exit tickets, um, class assignments. And if they're doing those, it also shows that they're participating. Um, and then 5% would be any extended learning opportunities. I do ask that they complete everything to the best of their ability and honorably and to reach out to me if they have any questions or need an extension or some sort of exception. Everything is posted through Google Classroom. Students have already had access to this. Uh, so we've done a little tour. Things are posted through the stream so they can see the assignments as they come up. But under the Classworks tab, they can also find everything organized by topics, which is by the blue arrow. And then this course overview and expectations is already posted. We have reviewed it and it is uh, by that purple arrow. So how can you help from home? Checking Genesis regularly or encouraging your child to check regularly so they know if they're missing anything and how they're doing in class, monitor their progress. You can always ask how their day went, reach out to me with questions and the best way is to cook together to enhance those skills that they're learning. Uh, so my contact info is as follows. I am at danielle.heath at edison.k12.nj.us. If students or you see that I'm active online, you can use the Google chat function. Um, the students can also leave private comments on their assignments directly through Google Classroom, and I try to get back at my earliest convenience. Um, so thank you so much. I look forward to a great year together. And again, reach out if you need anything.